What's up guys? Today's gonna be a quick product review on this Dr. Prepare outdoor shower that I've had an opportunity to use several times on a three week trip we just did out west. Uh, so we're gonna give you a good tour of it. Uh, now what I'm coming from is this Coleman solar shower that we've always used and because uh, our camper doesn't have a built-in water tank right now. So you let this sit out in the sun, it'll heat up and then you have to hang it on a branch or your camper to get, you know, this is gravity fed works okay but this thing actually has it's, this this uh, can take pressure and it has a two air compressors so let me give you a tour of this thing uh, I don't have the box here but it comes properly boxed nice nice little box uh, in here you have a foot pump to pressurize this up to 5 psi all it does is screw onto the bottom right here but it also comes with a little battery operated compressor that works awesome. I got several showers out of this and, and the battery is actually, it lasts pretty long in this before I had to recharge it. It takes a, a USB, not USB-C, but the old micro USB right there to charge it. Now, one thing I really like about this style over that is that uh, if you set this out in the sun to heat up, it's all black, so it does, it's pretty warm. Uh, but it stands on its own. It has a hard base to it, so it, it doesn't doesn't fall over. Well, I guess unless you're on like sand or something, then it might. Uh, this one, you know, it's just bag lays down. So to fill it, you got this big wide mouth on the top. You can open it up without it all shooting out, unlike that one. Well, okay, it might come out a little bit, but there you go. So it's already filled up. And then you go ahead and pressurize it. So let me try out this foot pump since I didn't even use that yet, but I assume it works good. You just thread that on. It's got an O-ring in there and a one-way valve. So boom. All right, that's one. Oh yeah, okay, so you gotta take this cap off right here to let it breathe. That's the one-way valve. Wow, yeah, that filled it up quick. Okay, so you can see with just those few pumps, let's see how much water pressure we have now. now on this head, if you just push it this way, it opens up and stays open or you can shoot it like that. Now look at that, that was just with those, those couple pumps. I mean, let's give it one more and take this cap off. Oh yeah, I mean, look at that. And then as you're sitting there showering, you can hit it as many times as you need. All right, that pump works great. Let's thread this off and we can see the vessel should have held pressure, it did. Cool. Now this little guy, all you do is press the button and hold it and it'll show zero PSI, but it's set at five. So if you hit it again, it turns on the air compressor and I'll thread this on. And that's it. It just filled up to five PSI and shut off. So as you're showering, which by the way, this hose is plenty long. Uh, the pump should turn back on automatically. Yeah, there it goes. Yep. So as you don't have to be sitting there with the foot pedal pumping and pumping. And yeah, you got you got pretty good capacity in this. And that's how well she works. So that's all I got to show you on here. Uh, overall, I think it seems to be great quality. I'm now going to switch over to some footage that I shot using it. And um, caution, I'm in my underwear, my boxers. There's no nudity or anything. But if that disturbs you, then, you know, maybe, uh, maybe click off the video now. So let's switch over to that now. Jay didn't want to shower, so it's on me. Plenty of room for six foot three guy to, uh, to shower, you know, no problem. Oh, God. That's cool. It's a little cold windy today, but it's not bad. It works really good. I can't do this without laughing. I'm sorry. Right, when you're done, you just shut it off and easy peasy. I like it. So my first experience with the doctor prepare went well, and we'll see how it holds up throughout this trip. 
All right, and hopefully that was a good example of this little guy in action. Now, a couple other things on this remote. Uh, if you double press this right button twice, that turns on a little LED light on the bottom. Double press it twice to shut it off. To, to shut this whole thing off, you hold this for three seconds, or if it's not in use for 15 minutes, it will auto shut off. And it also has a feature that if uh, this tank, if it was on its auto setting where it's automatically filling the tank back up, when this runs out of water, this will automatically detect that after a certain amount of seconds and shut the pump off too. So it just doesn't keep freewheeling and running the battery down. This does come with a micro USB for charging the pump, but not a charge block. That's what it looks like when it's charging. A little red blinking light. And uh, yeah, that is the Dr. Prepare solar outdoor shower. It's definitely a step up from something like this, but if you have uh, trees around or a camper to hang that on, that works good too. When I was using this in the video, it was very cold and super windy, and the water was, was ice cold from the night before. We actually got um, a dusting that night on the mountains too. And it, was, it was chilly nights. Oh, and by the way, when you empty it out and compress the bag, everything fits into here nice and snug. <laughs> Look at that compresses down into this tight little bag and now I didn't dry mine out yet but of course you'll want to dry this out thoroughly to prevent uh, mildew and mold from going in there so yeah hopefully this gives you a good idea what it's all about and uh, if you want to buy one again that link is down below so hopefully see you in another video and thanks a lot for watching if you did see you now looks like a second round of snow moving in up there look at that can't even see the mountains anymore that's all that happened within like a few minutes too just blew right in. Oh my god! <laughs> She's getting belted!